Guys, what if I told you I was gonna make a mega meatball? I will, t I will tell you that the smaller the meatball, the better it will stay together. And again, that's a guy that cooks. But do you want a guy- It's, it's not a, it has nothing to do with Do you want cooking. a guy that grips it and rips it? <laughs> or do you want a guy that knows what he's doing? I present to you the mega meatball. Justin Warner here with Jay Okerson and Dan Soder, and today we're gonna eat the universe. Gentlemen, today we're gonna be making a Punisher-inspired Italian wedding soup. But before we get into that, tell me about the bonfire. Well, the bonfire, much like an Italian soup, wait, Italian wedding? Much like Italian weddings, the bonfire is uh, a bunch of people talking secrets about each other behind their backs and then laughing at family members. We're a lot like this onion. Yeah. Together, boring. You cut it and it'll make you cry. <laughs> wow. The bonfire. I thought you were gonna say that it has lots of layers, but. Uh, oh, sure. Wait, what is an Italian wedding soup? It's well, a soup with meat. Yes. Right. Well, I got that. I thought it was just dog toys <laughs> thrown into a pressure cooker. No, that's our pay for being here. <laughs> yeah. The first time ever my rider's been filled. <laughs> you go, what do you want? You go, I'll tell you what I want. I want beef bones. <laughs> Let's start this soup by making a stock. Hell yeah. We're gonna use a pressure cooker for this, and I like the idea of using a pressure cooker to make soup. One, because it's super speedy, but also because it's kind of like the Punisher. I mean, this guy is ready to kind of like blow at any given time. His family was murdered. So check it out, I've got some marrow bones here. I've asked my butcher to split them in half for me. If your butcher cannot split bones in half. Get a better butcher. I didn't realize you could even have your own butcher. Uh, hell yeah, dude. Butcher. Here we have some garlic. Yeah. I just crushed the garlic. I didn't mince it or anything like that because Did the... you punish it? I did kind of punish it. <laughs> Are we putting just the... You're just throwing a whole onion in the soup? What about the, uh, you know, the outsides? Yeah, the skin. There's flavor in there, yeah. This is something an older brother says to you when he tricks you into eating something. So the reason I'm making Italian wedding soup for the Punisher, he was born uh, Francis Castiglione. Mm -hmm. And I think it's pretty, pretty funny that the Punisher is actually named Francis. Francis, yeah. Probably got a lot to do with it. <laughs> yeah. So generally in an Italian wedding soup, you find all of these things, but you do not find these things. And Bark. Ginger and uh, these uh, spices, cinnamon, star anise, cardamom, clove, and black pepper. These are spices that you would generally find in pho. And one of my favorite periods of Punisher lore is where he kind of gets his, his smarts and his uh, kind of wartime savvy in Vietnam. So you just threw in all things that I would never guess you would put into a soup. Oh, well, you know, generally that's because people buy beef broth or chicken broth. Yeah. But this is the kind of stuff that goes into that little rectangular carton. Really? Stock. Yeah. Stock. Yeah, indeed. Gentlemen, while I fire up this broth, tell me about your first interactions with Punisher. I liked Punisher the Garth Ennis run. Yeah, he's the one who did the Vietnam stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, Punisher born. Yeah. I uh, fell in love with Punisher in the Dolph Lundgren vehicle, the Punisher. I mean, white boots and white belt, like he was in Migos. So the cool thing about a pressure cooker is it has a valve and the lid locks. Wait, so that's, oh, you're just gonna do that and then we're gonna make meatballs? Yeah. And put it in there? Yeah. Is this how easy cooking is? Yeah, dude. Yeah. I mean, when you have a plan. Okay, well. You have me. Yeah. Before you, we have meatball ingredients. What's in here? That's beef and pork. <sighs> you bad boy. So, uh, check it out. Uh, we've also got some uh, parsley and basil. We've got some breadcrumbs, some kosher salt, a little Parmesan, and one egg. So, uh, make meatballs. Be All of it? Say. Yeah, as much as you think is necessary. <laughs> oh, really? Boom! Oh, and then I go, ah! They should be punished. What's this? Oh, punished with seasoning? Yeah. I like that. If you're gonna try to put as much pepper as we put everything else in there, you're gonna have a different sized right arm. You better, you better, yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we mix it up. You don't need to mash it. You just need to marry it How together. How are you? Oh. Exactly. Let's roll these balls here. Like a snowball? Nah, petite. All right, so I'll make one. All right. And you can attempt to mimic it. Feel how, how delicate oh, it is. Yeah. Feels like it's about ready to fall apart, right? Yeah, feel That's that where jet. we want it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Great. Okay. Fear this. So, this is a meatball that people are backing up there from. There you go. Yeah, now yeah, feel that, a, Justin. That's, that's a wedding That's a wedding soup yeah. meatball. My grandmother made sweet and sour meatballs growing up. She put a little potato in to keep them light. Ooh, that was a grandma hack. I love those things. You're calling this grandma a hack? No, your, your grandmother's great. Grandma, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> 
So normally to make stock like this, it would take hours. The great thing about the pressure cooker is the pressure cooker, it's like kind of like speed dating for flavors and ingredients. You rush in, you think you're in love, and then you realize it was all based on physical attraction and not actually knowing that person. So then the flavors separate and they resent each other for about six months. Okay, so now it's time to release the pressure. I present to you the pressure cooker. <laughs> now I'm gonna strain this. Look. What is that? That's, That's the bone? Yeah, and that is the cooked marrow. Do you wanna try this? I think I do. Sure. Marrow rules. Is this gonna give us powers? Yeah. That's why we're doing this, right? Cheers, dude. Are you supposed to do this? Yeah, take it, take it down. I have it. It's like butter. Oh, wow. The texture's weird, it's delicious. It was good. It was good. All right, let's finish this soup. So now we're gonna cook the meatballs in the soup. How long does it take to cook these meatballs? Not long. This is escarole. Escarole? Yeah. It's a grown-up endive. It's like a mutant endive. Have you ever had endive before? No. Uh, yes. Yes? But what was your experience with it? <laughs> <laughs> so just rip that up. Here, and you can wipe this. Cool. Stupid escarole. I know you can. I didn't know we were becoming line cooks all of a sudden. You are. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna take two eggs and I'm gonna mix it with some Parmesan cheese. Why? Because Italian wedding soup has this stuff called egg stracciatella, which is basically egg drop. Did you ever work in a restaurant? Never. Well, you did a really good job. Okay, Thank you also you. did a really good job, except for this part. He did work in a restaurant until two weeks ago. Yeah? <laughs> I'm actually late. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's at a boil. So that means meatballs are done, right? That means the meatballs listening. are done. I knew well, it was going to be a test. Thank you very much. You know, part of active listening is actually repeating what someone says in different words. In different words, right? What are some of your other favorite Marvel characters? I like Wolverine, Gambit, Cyclops. You're a nerd. Get out of here. Look, guys, it looks like a dress. I'm a Deadpool. The ca comedian of... Yeah, Wade Wilson is the funniest out of everybody in the Marvel Universe. Check it out, we just wilted the escarole and that's good. And look at how much vegetable matter there is in this soup. That is one healthy, happy marriage. We're getting there. Yeah. It's good, right? It is really good. Oh, that is salty and tasty. Good. Well, I'll meet you at the tasting table. I'll plate this up for you. Gentlemen, we have our soup. We can finish with cheese. So yeah, just jump in there. Oh, this looks delicious. Maybe revenge, a, a dish served extremely hot. Yeah. In the Marvel Universe, and with Punisher specifically, it's all about team-ups, you know? It's like beef and veggies. It's like broth. How did you guys meet, speaking of super team-ups? Oh, you mean old chicken broth and meat bones? <laughs> no, we met through comedy, and then, um, Jay's girlfriend was like, you guys need to do a podcast or a radio show. We didn't even think about it. We just liked hanging out. And then we started uh, recording ourselves, just hanging out at Dan's house. And then just it was packaged together and pitched to, uh, to Sirius XM. And here we are. Eating soup. soup. This is great, by the way. You're into it? Yeah. Where can people find your work? You're going on tour? You can find me wherever a man is done wrong. No, no, we're not telling ourselves. Whenever there is injustice, we'll be there. Whenever there's hot soup was revenge near. Uh, you can find all my stuff at dansoder.com. And bigjcomedy.com for all of my nonsense and where I'm gonna be. That's all the time we have today. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. I mean, thanks for cooking us this delicious soup. Be sure to listen to these guys, uh, The Bonfire on Sirius XM. That's all the time we have. But let us know, who do you think in the Marvel Universe would have the best stand-up routine? Hit us in the comments. That's it for Eat the Universe. <laughs>